Hello and welcome to Windy City Resell. My name is Chrissy. If you are new here, uh, Mara is here with me as well. Um, she's my partner in crime here. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, I work full time at a large financial institution and in my spare time, I'm an avid runner and I like to resell. And today we have an unboxing, but um, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. Um, so recently, um, I'm sure you guys know, I have been really loving the Goodwill Blue Boxes. Um, I typically get the thrifty, oops, sorry, the thrifty apparel box, um, which was formerly the 10 for 10 box. They just upped the prices to $15. So I've been getting those roughly um, one a week. And um, last week when I um, when they came available, they come available every Friday at 5 p.m. Central Time, um, I decided to do an experiment where I bought a thrifty apparel box and I bought the regular apparel box. So as I mentioned, the thrifty apparel box is $15 plus $5 shipping and with tax, it's about 20 bucks. And then the regular apparel box was $30 and $5 shipping. I think it came to $37 after tax. So I wanted to compare the two to see if there was any difference between the thrifty apparel box and the regular apparel box. So um, the, I believe this is the regular apparel box. Uh, so this one came today. The thrifty apparel box is still on the way. So I'm gonna open this today and see what's in it. And then tomorrow when the other one comes in, I will open that. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is just add up all of the, um, um, the listing prices to see if this one is really worth twice the price of the other one. So um, let's see what happens. Like I said, I think this is the regular box, not the thrifty apparel box. Yes, this is just the apparel box. It's 10 to 12 pieces, and it was $29.99, $5 shipping. So my total after tax was $37.17. So let's see what we got. Um, I'm wearing this because it's like zero degrees today in Chicago, and I've just been cold. So I was listing a bunch of stuff, and this was in my box that I just decided to put it on. So, All right, first thing we have is a pair of pants. And they are new with tags, Old Navy, um, which Old Navy's a good brand. It's not worth a lot, but it does resell. Um, it has a following, especially their um, well-known cuts, which this is the Pixie. It is a size zero, which isn't the best size, but this is a cute pant. So we'll take that and it's new with tags. So there is item number one. Right. Oh, and then this came from the Lake Worth store. I believe all of the um, blue books, uh, at least the apparel blue boxes come from that store. So this is Massimo. Again, like these are brands I would normally expect to see in the um, thrifty apparel box. So this is just a long maroon tank top. It is a good size. It's an extra, extra large. So not mad about that. But again, I don't understand, like why wouldn't that be in the regular pill box? I don't know. All right. So loft, um, extra, extra small petite. I don't even know if I'm gonna list this. I probably will. I know people are looking for unique sizes, but I don't know, it just seems like larger sizes sell well, but really small sizes don't seem to do very well. Um, I don't know, I'll probably still list it, but so far I'm not impressed. Um, ooh, this seems like a jacket. Um, I have to look this up, Mark Bauer, size medium, made in China. It's M-A-R-C mark, then B-O-U-W-E-R. There's the tag again. And it's just this uh, bomber style, like satiny jacket. I'm guessing it just made out of polyester. Yeah, polyester cotton spandex, hand wash cold. I'll look this up. Um, I don't know, who knows? It could be good, but I have not heard of this before. Um, so there's that. 
Ooh, I think I see something good in here. All right, this is getting a little better. This has a Nordstrom tag on it, which is always a good sign, but it's only $18. Size extra small. It's just this long sleeve, black, like thin top. I'll probably just keep this. And it's by the brand Halogen. This is a nice like layering piece for the winter. So yeah, I'll probably just keep that. Um, this is what I was looking at. This looks like Lily Pulitzer, which is always a good thing. And it is, however, extra, extra small. Um, I don't know, some of the Lily Pulitzer's items can run big. So I'll measure this. Um, I don't know. It looks pretty small to me though. But um, yeah, it's a cute top though. So that brand is better. I've never gotten Lily Pulitzer in the other box. All right, more tags. God, these sizes are awful. Extra, extra small, White House Black Market, not a bad brand, but why are all these sizes so small? So this is a cute top though. Um, this looks big for an extra, extra small. This looks like a small to me. I don't know, but that's kind of cute. I'll list that and I'll put the measurements on there, but that looks, like that could fit a small or extra small, but all right, another, seriously? So the brands aren't bad and I'm happy I've gotten new with tags. I just, I don't know. Hopefully I, if, if there's a really tiny woman out there that wants a lot of new clothes, um, she can hit me up because I've got what you need here. This is really cute, but look how small this is. This is really small. Um, so, and then this is just, um, I don't know, it's June and Ivy. It's a Francesca's top, um, $34 was the retail. Oh, these are cute. So a pair of gloves, I'll keep these. They're just Target clearance. They're on clearance for two bucks, but I will keep these. You can never have too many gloves. All right. Finally, <laughs> BCBG Generation, size medium large. Not the best brand, but it's a cute top. It's a sweater, see-through. Um, feels like it's just made out of like some polyester. Kind of feels like linen, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, polyester. So, is that right? Um, all right. This is Chico's, a size one. So I think this is like a large, maybe a medium. I don't know. Chico's has their own size chart. Um, you know, honestly, I don't think I've ever sold Chico's. I've sold their jewelry before. I don't think I've ever sold their clothing and the jewelry sold well. So we'll see how that does. Excited to have that. A few more items in here. This just feels like a t-shirt. Ooh. The brand, but again, the size really. Extra, extra small. Um, I don't know. I'll list it, but I just, uh, like I do agree that these brands are better. Um, I don't have a problem with the brands, but the sizing is my is my issue. All right, one last item in here. It's a sweater. And it's a bigger size, but it's just Forever 21, size large. But this is cute. Um, it's really hard to see because it's black, but it's just this knit sweater. Um, good condition. So, yeah. All right, let's count how many items. Um, I was supposed to get 10 to 12, so one for the sweater, two, the jacket, three, Chico's, four, Athleta, five, BCBG, six, White House Black Market, seven, Francesca's, eight, Lily Pulitzer, nine, Loft, 10, Nordstrom, 11, Massimo, 12 Old Navy, and then we got a bonus for the gloves. So, um, 
I don't know what I think. <laughs> I The brands were marginally better. There were some, half of these brands I would expect to see in the thrifty apparel box. The other half, like the Lily Pulitzer, um, uh, maybe White House Black Market, um, Chico's. Um, I could see why they would consider those maybe like higher end because my last blue box, the thr thrifty apparel, I got mostly Walmart in there. Um, I just think it was luck, you know, bad luck of the draw that I got all extra, not all, I got a lot of really small sizes. Um, my, I had another box where I got all three X sizes. So, um, would I buy this again? Yes, I probably would just to see if, um, the, um, if, you know, this was just a, like a blooper where, or, you know, I just happened to get all these sizes. I, I'll try it again. Uh, I'm not that disappointed with it. It's more, I think, just because the sizes. So, all right. Uh, I've been rambling enough. Um, let me know what you thought. Um, tomorrow I will be posting the uh, Thrifty Apparel box just so we can get a side-by-side -side comparison. And then I will add everything up to see if this is really worth the extra um, $15 over the other box. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everybody who likes and comments. Um, and thank you very much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.